Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Summer 2009 Lego Shop at Home catalog which featured the launch of Space Police 3. You can see on the top right there, this features the, uh, the, the mug shots, if you will, of some of the, the featured villains and then one of the, or actually two of the sets from the theme, uh, featured prominently on the front. So if we open it up here, the opening spread is, yeah, it's Galactic Enforcer which was $99.99. Wow, that was an expensive set, actually. K9 bought for $349, cool cheap set, nice brick built robo dog there. And then the gold heist with, uh, this one's got a very interesting looking villain there. Sort of looks like a predecessor to some of the uh, Ninjago arm builds for those villains that had uh, the more complex assemblies there. You can see on the side, it has a sort of a table of contents. So we're gonna go through City, Indiana Jones, Agents, Power Miners, Bionicle, Mindstorms, and then Star Wars to round it out. Wow, this is a pretty jam-packed catalog. Space Police versus the Aliens. So here we have the Freeze Ray Frenzy, the Space Truck Getaway, Space Speeder, and the Hyperspeed Pursuit. Space Police 3 was always, uh, it was an interesting theme to me. Um, it was sort of the last incarnation of, of any variation of classic space in, in the way that we know it now. And it's interesting to see that its fan base is, is pretty strong. It seems like there's there's definitely a lot of love for it. But but I wonder if today with all the IPs, you know, if this could really last. And I know I think this only lasted two or three waves. So so it's interesting to wonder, but I, I always did love this this nice cheap five ninety nine Squid Man's Escape. The great Squidman uh, head mold there, which I believe they've reused uh, in recolors a couple times. Ah, yeah, here we go. Lego City, City Corner set. Best friend had that, loves that set. Garage for 100 bucks, sports car, tow trucks, and pretty simple city sets. I mean, you know, they have variations of these today. But uh, this was a good year for City. I always appreciated this set in particular to have a nice sort of small city block for uh, 60 bucks actually, that, that, is, that is a steep price for a 483 piece set. Those are some Star Wars prices right there. That's a cool set. I always liked it, it was very quaint. More city uh, construction, dump truck, dozer, front end loader, and then the construction site. This was always a weird set to me. This is supposed to be under construction but it, it also kind of seemed like an excuse to just make a uh, really bland looking build, so. The vehicles are cool, but that's that's kind of a pretty good summary for City. Some nice vehicles and the builds themselves. So this is actually when they were still doing uh, collections. So you can see you have 172.96 value for 155 bucks. More City construction. Build a new city. Minifigure collection for 10 bucks. We have the single drum roller, and then we have the uh, crawler crane. That's a really cool set, actually. Um, these are some massive parts. It's actually pretty well priced for 481 pieces with so many large pieces like this for 60 bucks. That's that's a that's a nice set. I especially like this this extension right here. That looks really nice, I think, with those larger uh, paneling parts. And then we have some city farm sets. We have the farm itself, the combine harvester, camper. I think that was the first city camper actually, which I love. And the four wheel drive with horse trailer. That was also a really cool set. I like that. Uh, that horse carrying build in the back there, a really interesting collection. And then we have the barbecue stand and the tractor, some nice smaller city sets. It's $3.49 for that barbecue stand, that is crazy. Wow, on the farm for 90 bucks, it only had three minifigures actually. I didn't quite realize it was, it was that small. See those three right there. But definitely a, a cool lineup of city sets for, for summer 2009. I, def I remember this summer pretty well and I appreciated these sets when they were out. Here we have, yeah, fantasy era castle. Build a new kingdom with the Trolls Mountain Fortress. A really cool set, actually. Um, it comes with two trolls in both of their colors, which is awesome. I always love that they they had these little almost caves that they they dwelled in, and then they came out to to fight kings. Uh, Battle chariot, awesome set with the king minifigure. Pretty cheap for twenty bucks to get that. Uh, drawbridge defense. This is like harkens back to some classic uh, castle sets, some old Knights Kingdom stuff too. Just the the concept of a drawbridge is really cool. And then we have some minifigure packs, the trolls, and then the dwarf dwarf battle pack is awesome. 
I completely forgot that that actually was a thing, and that's really cool. You can get five dwarves for 15 bucks. Continuing on, Dwarves Mine. Absolutely love that set. Got it from my best friend. That's just a classic uh, fantasy era castle. Tower Raid is pretty neat. Uh, and then the Medieval Market Village. This is like a really beloved set, but for some reason it hasn't actually gone up too much in the aftermarket. Wow, it was just a hundred bucks. And it, I think you can get it for, for under 200 now, if I'm not mistaken, which is, uh, that's honestly still a pretty good deal for 1,601 pieces. You can see it has eight minifigures. Really cool set. I think it was D2C, yeah. Really nice D2C for Castle. Indiana Jones, Relive the Action. Yeah, Fighter Plane Attack, Ambush in Cairo, the Venice Canal Chase. This is a lot like the Hydro Man Attack from this year. Uh, I've seen people compare it to that with that little small bridge. I think that Hydro Man Attack definitely has a better uh, encapsulation of Venice. But this is a nice set. Uh, Chachilla Cemetery Battle from Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's cool. I always like the uh, face print there with the skull mask. It's a nice figure. And then the uh, Temple of Doom. Awesome set. Really cool play feature with the uh, with the mine carts that go around this track. It does look a little incomplete when you actually look at it in, in full. They, they make it look really nice here, but it, it is sort of just a, a barren track. But, you know, for 90 bucks, it, it's definitely a really cool concept. And it, it's the only set like this in Indiana Jones, so I definitely have appreciation for it. Temple Escape, really nice set. I'd rather have that set. Uh, that's just classic Indiana Jones. And then Shanghai Chase. Never had that set. Love the short round minifigure. Jungle Cutter. Nice set. Always appreciate it when you roll this. The uh, blades on the front move, which was a really nice feature. And then Fight on the Flying Wing. Which I never actually personally really enjoyed this set. It, that wing piece is so huge and it makes up so much of the actual shaping of the plane. It's just a very simple build. It's kind of just the cockpit on top of that huge span. And then this little tanker. It, it, it's just not a very interesting build, in, in <clears throat> my personal opinion. SpongeBob Under the Sea, Good Neighbors at Bikini Bottom. I think this is actually the second best of the uh, Pineapple Home sets. There's one that comes with Squidward and Patrick's Home, <clears throat> which I think is, is cooler than this one that just comes on its own. Bikini Bottom Express, very cool set. I love the ticket machine and the printed ticket tiles that uh, you get in this one. Rocket Ride is a nice set. You can get Sandy Cheeks, and then Krusty Krab Adventures, which I believe was the second iteration of the Krusty Krab, and uh, that is just an absolute shell of a building right there. I have Agents 2.0. This is the second wave, I believe. Got the Aerial Defense Unit, which kind of looks like a recolor of the Dino Attack helicopter, but definitely a cool, a cool set with Fair amount of the agents, yeah, three of them. River Heist, Four Willing Pursuit, and the Robo Attack. This was the uh, just the start of Lego's onslaught of mechs. You can see, 2009. That's where it started. We're still in the thick of it now. It's unfortunate. I think this wave is nice. I think the first wave of 2.0 is is superior, but that was definitely a strong follow up. I think it was just sort of on its way out at that point. Here we have Power Miners, Titanium Command Rig, a really cool set. Crystal Sweeper, and then the Rock Wrecker. This set I always appreciated because it, it just, it's a huge facility on wheels. I mean, there is there is platform space to walk around. There's a command bridge up there, a crane. It, it, it kind of reminds me of the uh, summer 2018 Ninjago Diesel Mod. Obviously a different color scheme, but just sort of the same, same uses you can get out of it, which is interesting. And the Crystal King here. Cool brick little rock monster. Continuing on with more underground adventures. Boulder Blaster, Thunder Driller, some smaller Power Miner sets. Uh, didn't get into this theme as much as I, I wish I did. Definitely have a lot of respect for it, and I know it has its its fans, but I do wish they could uh, find a way to revive it. It'd be very cool to integrate some other characters, maybe even clutch powers into this world or Ninjago. I feel like it's possible because Power Miners has a has a very passionate fan base. But moving on, Lego Pirates. The Return, 2009, Brickbeard's Bounty, Loot Island in the Cannon Battle. I always appreciated this uh, molded base plate on Loot Island, which is just so cool that it's it, uh, it has several sort of levels like that. I just really appreciate that, especially in a $20 set. Nice pirate ship here with that newer shark. We'll probably have some more pirates, yeah. Treasure Hunt, Shipwreck Hideout, 
Soldiers Forge, some smaller sets right here, and then some gear. Pirate's Saber. Wow. Lego promoting violence. Moving on. This is just some sort of normal catalog essentials, some ordering information, probably get some pick and build, some more gear, Nintendo DS, <laughs> a cake mold, a ruler, that's right, mix, match, and create, some pick and build options, which is nice. I don't believe LEGO catalogs have that anymore, pick and build. I could be mistaken, but it was nice when they included it. I do think it's not necessary considering those options are online, but, but it was nice. Here we have Creator. Interesting year for Creator. I appreciate this highway transport, the fact that you get three vehicles in one set, which is obviously uh, three in one like many Creator sets. Fiery Legend, it's a very cool uh, looking dragon. I didn't realize Creator actually ever made a dragon with uh, fabric wings like that. It's a nice looking set for 40 bucks. And then we have the Fire Rescue, which is a nice looking fire truck. Obviously not really uh, to scale with minifigures at all, but, but definitely good looking in its own right. And again, that's a three in one with looks like a helicopter and a, a rugged fire chief's off-road vehicle. More classic creator sets, Beach House. That's a beloved set by a lot of people. That's like classic creator, nice uh, integration with minifigures there. Same with this family home for 60 bucks for almost a thousand pieces. That's a really cool set. And then some normal uh, creator vehicles here, a plane, motorcycle, and a, st a street speeder. I think I skipped a set. Here we go. Some racers. Yeah, so the racers was still alive. Have a Ferrari truck there, monster crushers with a hand pump. I miss racers. I love this theme. Gone too soon. Lamborghini Gallardo, Street Extreme. So this was part of the, uh, this was still when Tiny Turbos was around, which was these tiny little uh, brick little cars. Really love this theme, actually. Didn't get as many as I wanted when it was around. Some more Tiny Turbos, Track Racer RC, Wing Jumper. This is when they were still doing these uh, sort of pump back cars, I believe. Yeah, pump right there, which is cool, pump right there. A nice integration for play, but I'm not positive racers would really, you know, withstand the uh, competition with Speed Champions and stuff today. Speed Champions is definitely a nice follow-up. We have some exclusives, Cafe Corner, classic set right there along with the Green Grocer. These are some of the first modular buildings that were ever released. Just beautiful sets right here. They, they're lacking interiors, but they're really nice in their own right. Taj Mahal with re-release, the original Beetle, Emerald Knight, beautiful set. Beautiful set, just a wonderful looking train car. That set is fantastic, goes for so much now. Some more Bionicle Construction, which I just do not have the knowledge to do justice. Continuing on, more Bionicle, interesting looking arachnoid type set, some sort of bike. Caxium B3, moving on. Technic, crane truck, some smaller Technic vehicles, which I, again, I just don't have the knowledge for, Mindstorms. Moving on to the end here, Star Wars, separate shuttle. Anakin's Y-Wing, Venator class. Venator is nice. It looks a little ch chibi here. Um, I think they did what they could to get that $120 price point, but it definitely looks a little awkward compared to some of like the UCS Star Destroyers and stuff. It's just very small. Um, and the bridge is kind of, you know, it, there are play features in the front, but then the bridge itself, you know, you can't actually do anything with it. So, cool looking set, some nice minifigures, but, but in my opinion, it's somewhat overrated. Battle of Endor, really appreciate this set. This was still in celebration of uh, the, the 10 years of Star Wars. Echo Base, Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. Very cool collection of sets. Um, definitely have a lot of respect for 2009 Star Wars. That was when they were still doing Clone Wars, obviously. Continuing on with the Clone Wars. Republic Attack Gunship, this is just a classic set. Uh, a lot of people I know in the LEGO community really appreciate this set. It was in the first wave of Clone Wars, Republic Attack Shuttle. AAT, beautiful set, classic battle packs right here. Original UCS Falcon, beautiful. X-Wing, ATTE, V-19 Torrent, beautiful. Beautiful collection. Original UCS Falcon, obviously, beloved. Original Death Star. Vader's Taiban's Magna Guard Starfighter. This was obviously remade to some muted reception, but, but a cool set. Just an absolute monster amount of minifigures. And then, of course, we have some of the last Clone Wars sets. This set... Is gorgeous. Probably Josh with ATOT. Beloved. A beautiful set. Comes with just such a good number of minifigures and just a classic set. And rounding it out, we have this uh, minifigure scale creator carousel. Beautiful set. 
and it was followed up in 2016. It was really nice. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.